there's this whole thing about the connection between music and lyric, which I've been spending a lot of time on, uh, and uh, the uh, course uh, writing lyrics to music, which, uh, again, uh, really uh, luckily appropriately titled, since the course is about writing lyrics to music, uh, deals with uh, the, not only the appropriate relationship between notes and syllables, or notes and words, but also deals with the appropriate relationship between musical phrases and lyric phrases. Uh, and sets up uh, uh, a series, uh, I, I provide a series of melodies and those melodies then uh, uh, are uh, uh, piece by piece put together with, uh, with, with lyric. And the nice, nice thing about these courses is that each evening, after you finish the assignment, each evening the instructor is going to get on and make comments on what you've done, so on a daily basis you get feedback on what you've done. Plus you have uh, other members of the class, you know, usually a relatively small class, maybe 15, uh, and you comment on each other's work all the time. You look at what everybody else has posted for the same thing that you did. Uh, you look at their object writing, you look at uh, how, how, what, what they've set to, uh, to this particular melody, and, uh, and you make comments on it, which increases your own ability uh, as a critiquer, and therefore makes you more objective about your own work. And then the, the, the instructor will get on and, uh, and comment on the work. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the instructors, at least the instructors who are now teaching my courses, are so good. Uh, I taught the courses for uh, uh, several years. And uh, when I uh, started pulling in Neil Dirks and uh, Shane Adams and Andrea Stolpe, uh, we'd be teaching course, you know, say at the same time. And, uh, uh, and I'd look over at Andrea's chats that she did. You know, I'd, I'd go into my chats and say, okay, any questions? And, you know, people would ask questions, and I'd try to, you know, answer the questions, and then, you know, no more questions, no more questions. Okay, that's it. Uh, uh, Andrea and Shane and Neil bring in, you know, projects. They bring in uh, little exercises to do. Hey, let's try this. You know, I, just, I just told them, hey, listen, you're making me look bad. Um, stop it. Uh, and they didn't, so I had to stop teaching it. And so, so now, uh, now they're teaching the classes and uh, getting just amazing, amazing comments. They've all been uh, uh, dedicated students of mine. And, uh, and they've all done wonderful things on their own out in the music industry. Uh, uh, Neil Dirks was uh, uh, A&R for Warner Chapel uh, Publishing for years. Uh, and his job was to listen to professional songwriters' songs and make them better. Okay, uh, that's not bad. Uh, Shane, Shane Adams uh, ran uh, uh, Oh Boy, uh, not ran Oh Boy, but uh, w worked, worked with Oh Boy Records uh, for some time and also worked with, uh, with Seagale, uh, one of the strongest publishing companies and uh, uh, independent publishing companies in the world right now. Uh, and uh, Andrea Stolpe uh, has written a wonderful, wonderful book and has also her own, uh, her own course uh, in which she deals with object writing exponentialized, uh, which is uh, uh, called destination writing. It's the use of object writing but going way beyond uh, simply using it as a sense-bound exercise. Uh, she's uh, been a professional writer, uh, writing for uh, Warner Chapel, writing for Universal Music, writing for Elmo Irving, writing for EMI. Uh, she's had cuts with Faith, Faith Hill and, you know, uh, n numbers of folks and uh, is, is an artist herself. And um, she's teaching the courses. So, you know, those courses are in such good hands with, uh, with those folks.